Jason Myers, Justin Ray, and Brandon Lincoln. That would be me. And yes, folks, hello, welcome once again to Wipeout. And do not adjust your sets. That was Jason's first name in the box that you saw in the intro. I'll explain that in a moment. But first, uh, let's uh, get reacquainted here with Mr. Jason Byers and ask if he has any plans for the 146,000 that he's plus that he's won so far. Not yet. Um, I'm slow and then I get back to Ah, I see. Well, you've won a couple of games so far uh, this season and, uh, we have not had a three-time winner as of yet, but maybe this will be the day that that happens. We wish you the best of luck. The same goes for uh, Justin Ray. Hello. Hey. What's going on? All right. Well, Justin, you were on the show earlier this season and took home about four thousand dollars. But I bet you would like to win some more, wouldn't you? Yeah. Be nice. All right. Well. We get well. We'll see if that happens, because uh, Jason is a very good player here, as uh, you've seen, and uh, Brandon Hinkle, of course, uh, is uh, knows about that as well, don't you, Brandon? I certainly do, Mark. All right, but you uh, picked up some cash in your first appearance with us earlier this season, uh, winning twenty five hundred dollars. Do you think you can win some more today? Right. All right, well, we'll get to the game in a moment, but first, a bit of an explanation is in order for what I meant from that intro graphic. Uh, first of all, actually, first, before I even get to that, I should point out that since it is Veterans Day this week, uh, our episode today is being dedicated to all the uh, wonderful men who have served the United States over the years. So, I'm just going to put that on record. Now, <laughs> okay, men and women. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now, for the explanation about why um, Jason was introduced first. As you saw, Jason was defeated last week, and under normal rules, that meant he shouldn't be here today. However, the player that defeated him was found to be ineligible, and so Jason has been brought back as a result to try again for his third win. So, uh, Jason, let's see if you can make the most of your second chance here. Right? Anyways, uh, you know, of course, there'll be a pro hot spot prize up there in this first round, and it's a pretty good one today. A bedroom set worth $6,385. So let's take a look at our board. Okay, players for our first round today, we are looking for original Baskin Robbins flavors. Yes, these are flavors that were part of the original Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. And Jason, you have the honor of going first, so good luck to you. Unfortunately, you don't lose any money, but we, but you, but we do have to go to Justin for the next selection. Uh, orange sherbet. Alright, he says orange sherbet. Uh, where did I put? Okay, there it is. There you go. Alright, Justin has two hundred fifty dollars for that. Okay. Chocolate. Ah, yes, 
Chef's Classic Chocolate. Yep, that's definitely the original flavor. Well done there. That's $750. Very well. Regular vanilla. And that is the hot spot prize. Alright, for your own for you, Justin, and you've got fifteen hundred dollars plus that prize. What do you think? Alright, Brandon, uh, let's see if uh, you can find a correct answer here. There are eight left. Strawberry, another good flavor. And that is correct. Alright, and that is a thousand dollars for you on that one, Brandon. Okay. Rocky Road. Uh, Rocky Road. Uh, Alright, well, we don't have Rocky Road. We have Rocky Road Nut, if you were. Alright. Just making sure. And that is correct. Twenty-two fifty, Brandon, and the lead at this point. What do you want to do? All right. The maple nut. Maple nut, okay. Very good. Alright, Brandon, you're up to thirty-seven fifty. Alright, gonna pass it over to Jason. Well, well, there's well, it's because there's two different types of vanilla. No, you literally have French vanilla up there twice. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Well, anyways, um, let's go with the gold Okay, cool. Well, once again, you don't lose any money, Justin. I will try peach. Okay. Thirty-two fifty. There we go, that's another one. There are three left up there. Three correct answers left. Very well, Brandon. No, that is a current flavor. So we are back over to Jason. Yes. So you're up to seventy-five hundred dollars. All right. All right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, Brandon, all you have to do is find the last dollar sign that's up there, and, uh, 
and uh, you will move on. That's why we're in Vanilla. Alright, well, there's... <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to be more specific since we put that up there twice by mistake. Uh, the... the one that has between the dollar sign and the white problem. Okay, so that is the W. There you go! Well, it really... Oh, wait a minute. Did I miscount the dollar signs? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there is still one more. Okay, I thought there... Okay, yeah, I, I apparently don't know how to do math. Okay, so... If that was right, let's see, let's see the other version of the other one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Well, um... Wow, okay. Yeah, that second French vanilla was supposed to be something else, and I completely botch that off camera, but Jason, you're still moving on anyway. Despite all of that, Brandon, we thank you for being here. I guess this would be a short chance now. <laughs> well, well, you're still moving on anyway, but now we'll see how we do in the challenge round, which uh, will hopefully be much smoother. the two of you have won for right now. And the one of you that wins the challenge round today is going to take home a home gym worth 9,676. Alright, let's take a look at our first board for this challenge round. Wow! Uh, Mel's actually might be glad he's not playing this. Because we are looking for QBs that have played for the Minnesota Vikings. Alright, uh, Justin, what is your bid? Well, I know Jason's a whole lot better at sports than me, but I'm only going to go through. Alright. I, I don't care about the NFL now. Alright, well, Jason, uh, higher than three or challenge Justin? Ooh. Justin? Well, I'm a man of my word. Jason can take this one from me because I do not like the NFL. Alright. Well, alright. Uh, you gotta give me six correct names here, Jason. Who, of course, is their current QB. Five left. A Hall of Famer and a Legend. Four left. Alright. Okay, there it is. Alright, two to go. And one more. And there we go. That's uh, board number one to Jason. Alright, the other two that we needed were Rich Gannon and George Shaw. Alright, well, let's go to the next board and see what we have. Okay, this is going to be a fun one. We are looking for original 
cast members from the original Degrassi series. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun one, Jason. Oh, Jesus. Um, and remember, this is the original one from the 80s. Right, right, right. Uh, Three. You try for free, Justin. Jason? Yeah, you can just Okay. <laughs> Alright, Justin, five correct answers. That's all we need. Uh, Who, of course, played wheels on the show. Four left. Well, pronunciation in this case I don't think really matters, but what matters is that you got a correct answer out of that. Three to go. And uh, he, of course, played Joey Jeremiah on the series. I think so. And that's right. She uh, played Lucy on the show. Two to go. That is correct. All right, one more to go, Justin. And that is correct! Yeah, she of course played Spike, and her character got pregnant uh, early on in the series. Let's take a look at the remaining answers. Darren Brown, Duncan Waugh, and Stefan Brogren. So we've got a tie challenge round. Whoever gets the next board will move on to the end game. And we need California landmarks on this one. Randomizer is going to pick first, or decide rather who picks first, and it is Jason. Okay. Eight. Uh, let's see. I will go with eight. Alright, well, you think you know all eight of them, so let's see. Alcatraz Prison, of course. If anyone should be walking the walk of shame, it should be me for uh, what happened in that first round. You have four to go. You want to? You picked up a lot more money here today. Your previous wins in the hot spot prize get added to what you won, and you're now at seventeen thousand eight eighty-five for this season. So you have moved up the leaderboard as a result. Did you have fun with us? Yeah, I did. All right. Well, we, we uh, thank you for being here. Uh, 
And of course, I'll be back later on in the season. Uh, Jason, uh, you didn't think you were going to be here after what happened in that first round, did you? Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> the, way, the way the first round was shaking out, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to quietly walk away. <laughs> well, you made it, and you're now up to $158,452. we will see if we can get you another car in just a moment. Jackson Square is in um, Louisiana. Alright, well, uh, JC, you know the rules, so, for this bonus round already, so we're going to get right to this, but not before I tell you that if you win this bonus round today, you're going to be driving out of here in a Chevy Camaro 1LT worth 26895 Jason, to win that car, you have to give me six Goosebumps book titles. A classic book series, too, I might add. Alright, go ahead and pick your first answer. Six chances left. Turn off Honda, turn, turn back, back on the Honda mask. Turn, turn off the, the mutants. Turn, turn back, back on, on the cuckoo clock. clock. Check. Check it. Five right, and you have five chances left. Oh, God. Okay, uh, turn off the screw. Turn, turn back, back on, on the mutants. Check. Check it. And that is another car that we have given away here on Wipeout. Well done, Jason. You're our first three-time winner this season, and you are now up to a grand total of $185,347. Closing in on $200,000. Uh, anything racing through your mind right now? <laughs> well, uh, we're going to see if we can make it four in a row next time here on Wipeout. 